Welcome to a guided tour of all the different things you can do with Remote Rowing Coach. Uh, in the settings, which can be accessed on the main menu, you can choose your different heart rate zone from percentage of max heart rate or the Carbonin formula. You can turn on remote coaching or make your username public, which is if you're a coach, you're able to let your athletes choose you so they can send you data, change your weight and other things like that. You can access the Concept2 logbook by clicking Authorize at the top of the page. Once you log into your logbook, you'll be presented with a permission screen where you click the green button and approve Remote Rowing Coach to see your logbook. And now the app has tokens that enable you to see that. Going back to the main menu, you can click on Concept2 logbook and access all of your files, all of your data in the Concept2 logbook. If I click on the first one there, you'll see it download all of that data from the API in the Concept2 logbook. In this particular example, I have three 10 minute pieces and every time I click on one of the pieces, it shows that particular segment of that training session for that particular interval, just like you would expect uh, to see it in the Concept2 logbook. There are various other options that you can choose including just showing the heart rate or just showing the power. So you have quite a lot of information there at your disposal. When you click view my training, it takes you all your training sessions. You can click, press the orange button and that will take, that will upload things to the Concept2 logbook. In the training summary screen, you get an average force curve and lots of other metrics such as average stroke length or average peak force, uh, detailed heart rate stats from minimum to maximum to average to ending. On the split screen, you get all the different splits for a particular workout and you can change the units as you might expect to do so uh, on the PM5. On the data analysis screen, you're presented with powerful functionality where you can change the X and the Y to whatever you'd like. In this particular example, I'm showing time versus power in watts, but you can choose any two different combinations and plot them on a scatter plot to analyze your data to whatever you'd like to see. I'm gonna choose power on the x-axis and drive length on the y-axis to show you an example of that. And there's the scatter plot of my particular workout, the three 10 minute pieces that I did. Other things you can do is save the graph to your device. And then you can also export the information out of the app into a comma separated values file. And then you can put that into an app such as Numbers or Excel or whatever you'd like to do. In this example, I'm choosing Numbers just to show you all the different things that you can access as a part of that detailed export. Stroke number, time, distance, pace, power, calories per hour, and stroke rate and heart rate, just as you would expect. And then peak force, average force, drive length, drive time, the percent of your stroke complete when the peak force is reached, impulse, work for stroke, stroke speed, and all of your force curve data points for that particular row. On the force curve analysis page, you can take and select any stroke rate and it will give you the average of all of the force curves at that particular stroke rate. You're also able to press the save force curve button and that will remember that particular query and then you can choose another stroke rate and then save that as well. So you can zoom in or zoom out on this graph by using a pinch motion on the screen. And this is pretty powerful in terms of analyzing force curves for a particular stroke rate. <clears throat> Again, you can save that image to the, to the photos on your device. On the next screen, if you want to analyze stroke by stroke, you can do this and you know look at whatever stroke you'd like to, uh, and it will give you detailed stats. This screen also includes an average force divided by peak force to give you a percentage. So that's also quite helpful to see 
you know, how well you're filling out that force curve. The force curve functionality, the last screen and this screen is a one-time purchase if you just need to purchase that for once. The instructions here uh, is a web page that links to my website and that includes various YouTube videos on how to use the app and I'll be working on filling out those and giving a bit more information as I continue to develop this app.